we go and take an in-depth look at how homeowners insurance is killing the American dream. Good evening. I'm Jameis Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us, everyone. There seems to be no end to the high prices of buying a house in Florida, especially right here in the Bay Area. And not only are the prices going up, so are taxes and insurance. Yeah, this week, the Florida cabinet received a briefing on the rising home insurance market and said a bill passed last year is showing some improvement. But leaders say more needs to be done to protect home owners and state lawmakers need to act. Part of the problem across the state, seven property insurance companies have entered liquidation with some of their policies being picked up by other carriers. Here's a list of the companies in liquidation on your screen right there. According to the chief financial officer's office, liquidation is similar to bankruptcy. And many of you may be wondering, well, what does this mean for you and your wallet? To help you understand, our Eric Wexler went straight to the experts and the homeowners navigating the growing price of paradise. A bad situation seems to be getting worse when it comes to the cost of homeowners insurance. Elizabeth Roach lives in Hudson and was paying about $800 a year for a decade. But in 2020, her yearly premium started going up, first to $1,100, then $1,500. What's going on? No biggie. We need to keep our homeowners insurance. This year we received our statement and it has gone up to $1,900. That is almost three times as it was two years ago. And it really just makes you wonder, okay, what is going on here? She ended up getting that $1,900 rate with the state-run Citizens Insurance, but was quoted rates elsewhere as high as $6,000 a year. It does make us wonder, is there going to be another increase next year? We don't know what to anticipate. Experts say the home insurance crisis is driven by fraud and lawsuits. Two men were arrested this month in Naples for operating a scheme for free roof replacements involving claims to their insurers. Florida saw more than 100,000 property claim lawsuits last year. 82% of all U.S. home insurance litigation happened in Florida. Throw in the rising cost of homes and you can see why insurance rates are rising so fast. State Senator Jeff Brandis has been outspoken on the issue and says more needs to be done. We're a collapse. We're, we're beyond crisis. Crisis was three years ago. Brandis says insurance companies are beginning to fail and there are no investors left who want to support them. That means more and more people are going to government subsidized insurance with citizens. We kind of have this perfect storm of things. Uh, uh, a legislature who's sitting on the sidelines, uh, a governor who has not engaged at the level that he, needed, he needs to, a uh, bad laws on the books that are perpetuating this, and some and a trial bar that is as rabid as any state in the country. Florida's cabinet met yesterday about the crisis, but as of now, the governor has not called for a special session on the issue. But we are well beyond, uh, you know, the, just tinkering around the edges. This thing needs a full overhaul. Even if new legislation is passed to deal with the rising insurance costs, it will take many months before you see any changes in your bill. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.